I'm Eduardo Crespi. Uh, I'm the director of uh, Centro Latino. Uh, it's a non-for-profit organization, a local non-for-profit organization. And uh, we've been doing our work for 11 years. And uh, we have uh, three programs, uh, health program, education, and legal access and immigration services. And um, right now we are uh, focusing on our health program on diabetes and obesity prevention in the neighborhood. And uh, the program is called uh, Comedor Popular. One of the interventions uh, for prevention is to work with the uh, kids. Uh, and we implement the program called Veggie Friendly Kids in the Kitchen. Uh, we work uh, uh, mainly on our summer program. And uh, we are sponsored by the 4-H MU Extension. And uh, we created, we added the Veggie Friendly to the Kids in the Kitchen program. We also sell uh, fruits and vegetables in the neighborhood. Uh, since the population in the community in the area, they wanted to have um, fresh vegetables, um, affordable, and at uh, in in the area. And uh, we collaborate with different people. And in this case, uh, Billy Fol Polanski from the uh, Columbia Center for Urban Agriculture. And uh, we attract uh, our clientele are mainly people from the neighborhood. And uh, we attract lots of kids. Attract lots of kids that come to their moms send them to buy uh, the vegetables. The blueberries, for instance, uh, were donated by a veterinary doctor from Jefferson City. He drove all the way to bring them to us. Uh, and we also, in summertime, our volunteers uh, show the kids uh, how to garden and uh, the importance of uh, knowing where food comes from. So we're doing a little bit of uh, foundation work with the future generations. And, um, and the kids uh, reacted in a very positive way, especially when we tell them that they can make money selling tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So from blight to bright, uh, that's a, an expression I learned about the blight not too long ago in a blog in the newspaper here, people talking about that. And I thought that it was a very nice uh, title for this presentation. And uh, you will understand why. That is the building. We needed a building uh, in the neighborhood where we could implement the community development program. And uh, that is what we got. It's the perfect corner. And uh, don't be afraid, it will change. <laughs> but that's how it was. And uh, that red door is always uh, caught my attention. And uh, so in July 2009, that, but that sign caught my attention. Sharp N, 21 and over, I did require. I don't know what they meant, but uh, you know, that's what it was. The place had a barbecue, a dancing floor, a bar, a gambling area, and an employees only uh, office. Uh, so what we are trying to do is change a little bit the spirit. And uh, we knew that we were uh, being challenged by everything once we opened that door. So that was the first day and uh, I couldn't wait to start the demolition, which I enjoy very much. <laughs> uh, yeah, I vented a lot of steam, and I invited my friends to come and join me. Some of them showed up, uh, and that's how it looked. It looked like uh, Tripoli right now, you know, like uh, after an attack on a school or something like that. But that was 609 North Garth, right here in the neighborhood in Columbia. And it was a pity to just let that building rotten and uh, so we said, well, you know, we asked the owner to put a new roof. And we started the work and uh, started getting new toys. That was a rental. I didn't, I didn't buy one. And uh, we opened opp volunteer opportunities. Anybody that wanted to try the toy, they could. <laughs> um, and we had some. We had some very good volunteers because I, can, I couldn't do this job by myself. Um, so we had some people, actually it was very interesting the way we started working. I opened the door and I started making noise and all of a sudden people will show up. So many of them were hired on the spot. Uh, they were, uh, we bought some tools and we give them to them. Uh, I pay them $10 an hour and they did an excellent job, together with me of course, you know. But they did work harder. The interesting thing was the, the contractors. Only the contractors that understood our mission uh, and understood what I was doing, actually, were uh, hired, or we accepted their bids, because it was a very interesting uh, development. Um, for instance, Tim Colton, the plumber, he said, yeah, I'll do the job, but I hate to cut concrete. So I learned how to do that. And I save a lot of money as well. And uh, the same with the carpenter. Uh, he came and started doing a little bit here, a little bit there. Uh, thankfully, we had the funding to pay them as we grew on the, on the project. 
and uh, also the electrician came and just threw some boxes on the floor. His name is Rick Shankar. He became a friend now. Um, so little by little, we, we progressed to the, to, uh, into the building of uh, the new home for the Centro Latino. And even Steve, the musician right there, he, he came and he helped me with the door. He didn't, he didn't come back. <gasps> And there is the other one that promised he was coming back. But anyway, so <laughs> where, yeah, where we are now, uh, today, I will say, actually, I'm lying. Today, we are doing better, but uh, we progress a little bit. But since it was kind of uh, last week that I prepared this, uh, that's where we, where we are now. You'll see. Finally, we had a parking lot, all right? which is, it entailed a lot of uh, uh, talking to people and different contractors and also make them understand uh, you know, that uh, we are a non-for-profit organization, that there are tax breaks out there for contractors, and that uh, we didn't have any money, but we knew what to get it. Don't worry, we pay you. <laughs> so this is very important. Finally, they came and they paint the parking lot. I loved it. You know, I, I used to paint also houses, and I thought, well, I'm going to paint it with my daughter. So oh, we're going to paint this. Don't worry, we do it. Well, no, not really. Um, as you see, that's Oak Towers, and many of our clients use wheelchairs. And my wife also uses a wheelchair, so I had to do that perfect. No lines, you know, crooked lines or anything like that. So we did it, and uh, where we will be uh, will depend on the, our work uh, as a community. Everybody help a little bit. We have a lot of people that collaborated with us, uh, hundreds of people collaborating with us. And uh, this is what we envision. Uh, not exactly, but that's what we envision. We cannot uh, say what will happen in the future or when we are going to open, but uh, one of the things that I would like is to put an on in there, so that is up to the city, if they let me do that or not. Painting it white, I don't know. It will be up to the public, they can vote. And thank you very much for being here and for giving me the opportunity to talk about this. <laughs>